dramatic entrance. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. This is my first time at Glastonbury. Um, but it looks like fun if we get muddy. One question. How many people here have smoked DMT? I'm amongst friends. I'm going to be talking about DMT and, and other psychedelics and their connection to civilization. Uh, I normally give a talk with, uh, with slides, with images, but today you're just going to have to imagine the images. So the question begins, what are we doing here? Now I know what we're all doing here at Glastonbury, but what the fuck are we all doing here on planet Earth? What's it about? What is the, what is the purpose and meaning of life? Is there perhaps no meaning to life? Uh, or has it got a deep and um, significant meaning? What is reality? What is this thing that we call reality? What is consciousness? We all know we have it, I think, but, but what is it? And what happens to us when we die? Does it all just stop, blink out like a light, that's the end of the story, or do we continue on, perhaps into some other dimension or some other level of reality? I think these are fundamental questions that anybody is going to ask themselves sooner or later. Certainly consciousness is the greatest mystery of science. What exactly this is, I mean, we have these few pounds of jelly inside our skulls, which we call our brains, but exactly how they relate to consciousness is, un is unclear. How does this physical substance inside our brains give us uh, an appreciation of uh, a beautiful sunset or a symphony or, 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 or making love, the emotions that we feel? How, is that, how does that come about through a physical object uh, inside our skulls? I would say the mainstream view of consciousness is that, is that consciousness is made by our brains, rather in the way that a generator makes electricity. If you hold that view, that the brain makes consciousness, then it's illogical to believe in life after death, uh, or in any such thing as an out-of-body experience, because consciousness is supposedly local to the brain and to the body, it is, it is made by the brain. But that is actually a reference frame, it's not a fact, it's not an established fact. And another possibility which I think is worth considering is that the relationship of consciousness to the brain may be more like the relationship of a TV signal to a TV set, 